Good morning, my friends, and welcome to a very rainy Tuesday. Woo, I'm about to build an ark around here. I was chatting in here this morning with you guys. Who did I miss? Hi, Lisa. Hi, Leo. I saw my girl Kiki. Elaine's in the house. Lydia. Slim Shady. Magic Dance. Shay. Shay, where you been? I missed you. Steve Beasley. Where have you been, you old stranger? What's up, Steve? Momo's in the house. Connie's in the house. She said, I can't with this case. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. This isn't going to be one of our usual lives. It's not going to be as long as I normally go. For many reasons. Many reasons. It is dark. It is grim, and it is hard to stomach. It's hard to even think about. Good morning, Brandywine. How are you? There's Lisa. She said, yo, stranger. Rexy got a phone call. Is it about your car warranty, Rexy? That's what always happens to me. Can't tell you how many times I've been kicked offline because somebody calls about a warranty I don't have. My goodness. When you get time after this show or whatever, on the community tab, on the channel, there is a members post. I posted a link and I just want to get everyone's take on it. So let me know what you think. If you are not a member, please consider being one. I don't have a $25 membership. I have one tier it's two dollars. We have a lot of fun in the members' lives and everything, so give it a whirl. Give it a whirl. Hello, Jody Landis. Collada Hope made it in. So, this case with baby Elena infuriates me. Look at her. Look at her. Look at this picture with this little orange bow in her hair. I'm already seeing the comments. People taken up for her mother, her egg donor, Erica Lawson. She's currently being held on a million dollars. Million bucks for manslaughter. I'm not really happy with the manslaughter charge. I think it should be murder. And, um... You can hold a plea over her head to get her to talk, you know, but they obviously know more than I do. I don't have a badge. Baby Elena deserves justice for what was done to her because what was done to her is unthinkable. Before I get to it, we have some new names in here. Love it. I appreciate it very much because like I said, baby Elena needs, this case needs some traction. Let's take a minute and give a warm CLL welcome, welcome to whoever's below you, whoever's above you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. There's a very nice Facebook group. I'm going to post it on the community tab. It's um, They have a lot of stuff on there about little baby Elena. The admins do a really good job. They allowed me to post this live. You don't always get that with the Facebook groups. And I don't have time to run Facebook groups like I used to. Not at all. Lexi Texie, what a cool name. Hello, sugar mama. Again, I wish the charge for Erica Lawson was murder and they could hold a plea deal over her head like they normally do. We're actually going to talk about another case out of Kentucky towards the end. Also going to talk about some jailhouse justice that happened in Oregon, a similar case. God has a way, if you know what I mean. I have a feeling he was looking the other way. When this went down in Oregon, Tanya gifted five crime lines and lies memberships. Who will be the well, the lucky recipient? Looks like Nubian's back in the house. Lexi Texi is now a member. Pink Butterfly. Sunset Gazing. 
Woo, that's how we do it. All right, now, OJ, for those of you that are new, I have a Bombay cat named OJ. And sometimes he disturbs the show. You'll get used to OJ. Yes, welcome new friends. Check out of the check out the community tab on the Crime Lines and Lies channel, and there's lots of just for members content. Let's get to the comments, and then we're going to go through this horrific case. I'm also going to drop the link. Do not be shy. I do not bite. And come up and tell me what you think about this. Because I am all kinds of mad. All right. I put a video up on Friday about baby Elena. And people had a lot to say. Matter of fact, baby Elena's father chimed in. Now I have invited him to come on the show. He is welcome to come on anytime he wants. Anytime. I'll make it happen. First, one of the first comments was from DS. She said, my daughter is 19 months old. This makes me so, so sick to think about. This world we live in now. And she's right. And I did think about that with, you know, people that have children of a similar age. You know, these things hit you in a different way. I go back to the Susan Smith story. And I saw the two little boys and I'm thinking about my boys. And, um, of course, I fell for it hook, line and sinker. I thought she had really been carjacked. And then, well, welcome to true crime. It didn't take long to figure out Susan did it. And I was horrified. But let me tell you, I was hugging my boys a lot tighter when that was going on. Cups of Love said, now this is what she, she had read some things on Facebook. So this, I'm not verifying anything from an article and she's not trying to verify it either. She said, this is all from the Facebook chatter, all alleged. Okay, Harvey is the boyfriend. Supposedly his house is a crime scene, but never investigated by the police. J.D. is a friend of the group, and he's an S.O. He's an S.O. <laughs> Who the hell would let their child hang around an S.O.? Sean is also on drugs and hanging around this drug house that day. I don't know for sure anything. I'm just reporting the local chatter. What I'm hearing from, again... From the local chatter is she dropped Elena off at this drug house, then picked her up mostly dead already. Then took her somewhere else for a day trying to heal her herself, just thinking she's going to snap out of what happened to her. She says, so actually two crime scenes. And they're saying on Facebook, neither have been investigated. It's also rumored that she left her in the back of the car for a while while she was trying to figure out what to do. Now, I don't know anything about the police investigation. I'm not in that loop. Obviously, they're doing something because Erica is sitting on a mill, a million dollars. And um, currently, they are running a lot of DNA trying to figure out who assaulted Elena. Deborah Wallace said this. This case could very well cause me to have a different, different view of the death penalty. A mother who would look the other way and allow a man to do this to her child does not deserve a place here on earth. Was it a boyfriend or did she rent her child out for drug money? Scum, pure scum. If you remember, horrible show we had to do out of Alabama. A woman rented her little five-year-old out for drugs. 
She's in jail for murder. Just like he is. Trey. Trey is Elena's father. I'm not going to use his last name. I'm just going to say Trey. He said, you can always ask me whatever. I'm working on getting her answers. Good for you, Trey. And um, he's Elena's daddy. He has spoken out. I messaged him on Facebook. Not everybody checks their, you know, messages like that. I did drop a comment to him today, responded to this, and he's welcome on the show anytime he wants. So if anybody wants to, if they are friends with him, know how to get a hold of him, let him know. Let him know. I'm going to drop the link if anybody wants to come up. And we are going to start, well, from the beginning. Just tighten your belt. Like I said, I'm not going to keep you guys a long time because this is a very, very dark, dark case. This is something that our minds cannot wrap around. Charges of manslaughter and abuse after the death of her 17 month old daughter. Now, this case is out of Middlesbrough, Kentucky. Because of the extent of the injuries to the toddler, she was flown for treatment to East Tennessee Children's Hospital here in Knoxville. Okay, so if what I'm gathering is correct, she picks her up from the drug house, which I'm just going to say right now, little baby Elena had no business being at. Tries to uh, make her well on her own. It's too far gone. They had the life flighter to a children's hospital in Tennessee. Tennis reporter Mary Klingler joins us with more from investigators about how this child died. Mary. Yeah, John Robin, this toddler's violent death has shaken the Middlesbrough community, and now the mother is being held at Bell County Detention Center for her part in this tragedy. If somebody would be, could be that sick out there, let this go on. It's that bad. Middlesbrough. Now, it's interesting the way he phrases this, how anybody can be that sick. I get that part, to let this go on. I'm wondering what they have been told by the doctors how long the abuse had gone on they have a way to find out how long the abuse has continued how many times was she allowed by her mother her egg donor to be violated how many times That bad. Middlesbrough Police Chief Petey Gilbert says this investigation is leading to shocking discoveries. I have seen some kids like that, but not, not at this age. 21 year old Erica Lawson is being held at Bell County Detention Center and charged with manslaughter, failure to report child abuse, criminal abuse, and wanton endangerment. Let's take a vote. Let's pretend you're the DA of this county. And again, I don't know all the facts to the case because they have the case file. How does murder one sound? I'm all about it. How about murder one instead of manslaughter? Who agrees? Murder one instead of manslaughter. We know the way the justice system works. We know she's going to plead down because she's not really the one that killed her, supposedly. This is sick. This is sick. Failure to report child abuse, criminal abuse, and wanton endangerment. In my time with the Commonwealth, this is one of the most severe cases of abuse, specifically because that baby is 17 months old at that time. Police say the child's injuries were a result of abuse, including sexual assault, and expect the mother to face more severe charges. Well. Okay, good. They expect her to face more charges, so they could easily tack a murder one on with that. And um, 
<laughs> Imagine when they got the doctor's reports from the children's hospital in Tennessee and found out that she'd been R'd. She'd been essayed. How grim, how disgusting, how depraved. Now they're waiting on DNA samples? Erica needs to tell him. Erica needs to tell him. She's not going to get out of this. Provide that we're exploring every avenue uh, and, and lead and clue that we can uh, to apprehend the individual that's responsible. <clears throat> Police say the child's father has not been charged with a crime at this time. At this time, mother and father were not together. The father is not a suspect at this time, but that could always change. Attorney Lisa Fugate says it's up to the community to prevent tragedies like this from happening in the future. What's disheartening is the public's response. If a child is abused, report it. Don't withhold it. Don't go on. Report it. Call someone. Do something. I don't know where this statement is coming from from her. She obviously has some sort of inside knowledge that possibly someone was aware of what was going on. Or how about this? Hey, drug dealers, just take cash. Don't take kids. You're not going to stop people from doing drugs, drinking. But find a drug dealer that doesn't take children for payments. Tarnia said multiple people probably knew. Um, because this could very well be a different outcome had that been the case. Now the community is planning a candlelit vigil tomorrow evening at City Hall. It's expected to begin at 7 and anyone is welcome to join in and showing their support to get justice for that little girl. Disgusting. Disgusting. When I read the latest article about how they are um, <laughs> going through DNA, DNA, to try to find out who um, essayed this little baby. Susie Sue said they're checking multiple people's DNA. They may not be looking for just one guy. There could be several. Yep, Kaleida Hope said, ugh, multiple people. Yep. Yep. Insane. Insane. Now, this is when her father spoke at the vigil. I don't know how he's keeping it together. I have no idea. If it was my husband, he'd get a DUI to be in the same jail with Erica and he'd kill her. Telling you. Put me in there with her. New video tonight includes a memorial to a 17-month-old child. Investigators in Middlesboro, Kentucky say she died after suffering severe abuse. Her mother is in custody facing a charge tied to the death of little Elena. Neighbors are calling for justice. And for the first time, the little girl's father is speaking publicly. And I have seen a lot of comments from people in the community that are outraged. Outraged. And I would be too. I'm outraged and I don't even live there. And let me tell you what, this sexual deviancy is not about drugs, my friend. <laughs> no. Drugs don't make people do things like this. Like I said in the comments earlier, one of the guys that was known to be around the drug house was a sex offender already. Peach State Mom is coming in like Braveheart. She said, oh, I hope some of those women in jail get a hold of her. 
Yeah. They talk about the men in jail, but the ones you have to watch are the women. Dad gun. Good Lord. The minute they hear that they're in there for doing something to their own child, uh-uh, uh-uh. 10 News reporter Maria Guzman's father is speaking publicly. 10 News reporter Maria Guzman joins us with his reaction. Maria. John, this is a case that has shaken an entire community, and we see that from tonight's memorial, and in just less than 24 hours since this case became public, loved ones gathered outside of City Hall to remember baby Elena. On Friday, Elena was taken to the hospital. She had been sexually assaulted and severely injured. And two days later, she died from her injuries at the hospital. Tonight, we hear from the girl's dad for the first time. She was my, she was my world. She was my first, my only. I hate her have to do this and but this type of thing can happen as you can see it's touched everybody his only child his baby girl september virgo said what are wrong with these so-called mothers these days i don't know what the hell is wrong with them we just had lorraine bible on the show last week and um, she confronted one of the men who was an accessory to her daughter and her daughter's best friend's murder. Check it out. It's from last Wednesday. And she said to him in court, I'm going to go to the ends of the earth or I'll meet you all in hell. I'll risk my own salvation to meet you in hell. She's on, it's his only daughter. His only daughter. Which I don't care if he's got six. <laughs> this shouldn't have happened. Time. She was my, she was my world. She was my first, my only. I hate her. I have to do this, and, but this type of thing can happen. As you can see, it's touched everybody. We're the only boy she's got as a community, not just as me, just as a community. Now, the child's mother is 21-year-old Erica Lawson. Now, she remains in custody tonight. Right now, she faces four different charges from manslaughter to abuse, and the city's mayor speaking tonight to the family. I cannot imagine the pain you're going through. Yes. You're going through something no, no father's ever. Man, you're going through something no father should ever have to go through. Oh, my God, the mayor's breaking up. I mean, the, the mayor can barely get through this. No father's ever. Man, you're going through something no father should ever have to go through. No parents should ever have to go through the death of a child. Officials say the girl's uncle did report signs of abuse weeks ago, but police say they couldn't find the child. Now, the chief of police did admit there was prior abuse reported to them. Whoa. Whoa. So an uncle reported abuse, but they couldn't find baby Elena. The police have admitted that they that it had been reported. So where was she hanging out? This pisses me off to no end. I know several people have been asking me about yesterday's show about Summer Wells. Andrew came up. That's Hunter's father. Um, he called and uh, reported the abuse. And um, they said, you have to give it to CPS. And if it meets the criteria, they give it to us. I've just about had it with this system. So when, you know, the woman in the green suit said, you know, the community, somebody should have said something. It sounds like they did. Now, this is what really pisses me off. Never have to go through. No parents should ever have to go through a death of a child. Officials say the girl's uncle did report signs of abuse weeks ago, but police say they couldn't find the child. Now, the chief of police did admit 
there was prior abuse reported to them. As for where this case will go next, right now the mother is in custody, but police say more people could be charged. Now, now with the given the evidence they have, police say a male suspect was also involved. Now, another community event is set for Saturday night outside of City Hall at night. John. Other arrests. They do have a male suspect, but no one's been arrested as of this morning. They have multiple DNA that they're going through. Well, you can't have multiple if you just found one specimen. What the hell? I'm going to listen to that again. Officials say the girl's uncle did report signs of abuse weeks ago, but police say they couldn't find the child. Now, the chief of police did admit there was prior abuse reported to them. As for where this case will go next, right now the mother is in custody, but police say more people could be charged. Now, now with the given the evidence they have, police say a male suspect was also involved. Now, another community event is set for Saturday night outside of City Hall at 9. Could be multiple. And you guys know how I feel about the child protection services in every state. If parents did what they're supposed to do, we wouldn't need them, period. We wouldn't need them, but we know that's not the world we live in. Why don't they start locking these damn social workers up that don't want to do their job? And I'm not talking about the good ones. Because, you know, we, we have our friend Erica who came on, has come on many times about Harmony Montgomery. This woman goes above and beyond, above and beyond. I look at the case of little AJ in Illinois. One ball after another was dropped. And well, he's dead. I look at the case of Harmony Montgomery. One ball after another was dropped. She's dead. Don't get me going on Gabriel Fernandez. And they brought those social workers into court. But guess what? It's almost impossible to sue a government entity. They're not doing it for the $42,000 a year. So what are you doing? Dinah Jackson said, sorry, I can't take this. I'll come back another time. God bless. I don't blame you, Dinah. That's why I said I'm not going to keep you guys too long because this is dark. I don't want anyone upset. Toodles said, I was a foster parent for 13 years. God bless you, Toodles. The social workers sit in my home four hours a week for no reason. I'd love for you to grab the link and come up and tell me about that. Because I have heard from so many foster parents about the way they have to keep their home. So many fire extinguishers. But now the biological egg donor and sperm donor, they can live in total shit and it's fine. It's fine. Mama She, thank you for the super sticker, said you sent me an email. I will check that. I will check that. Got to be kidding me. And again, if the parents did their job, we wouldn't need CPS, period. We wouldn't need them. But we can't depend on these people. So when they get a report... They need to quit this. We have three business days to see if it meets the criteria. You can use your phone. Let me put the link up, Toodles. All right. Now we get to where we are now. Getting closer to it anyway. We have new details in the case of a mother charged in the death of her 17-month-old daughter. Investigators tell us they are looking into hundreds of leads in the case of baby Elena, the 17-month-old who police say died from abuse in Middlesboro. They're also saying they've collected. You know, abuse doesn't seem to be the correct adjective for what baby Elena went through. 
Can someone help me here with a proper adjective? I'm going to help Orange Tie out. I like his suit, by the way. It looks like what my son wore to his wedding. Tiffany said, how did the baby get left at the drug house? Her mama? Her mama? Yeah. And I agree with Sarah. Not just the police, but CPS. They need to jump on these cases like a firefighter does a house fire. Could you imagine a fireman going? It'll take me three business days to figure out if your shit's on fire or not, or if your cat's really in a tree, or if you're really trapped in that car. No. Couldn't believe when I heard that yesterday out of Tennessee. We'll talk about that on a member's live. Three business days. Who police say died from abuse in Middlesbrough. They're also saying they've collected DNA and other evidence. The child's mother, Erica Lawson, is expected in court on Tuesday. She faces several charges, including manslaughter. The toddler died from what investigators say was one of the worst cases of child abuse they've ever seen and said her injuries could also be from sexual assault. Another vigil will be held for Elena. To well, I'm no doctor. I'm no doctor, but I have a feeling it would be pretty easy to tell if a 17-month-old had been violated. Me too, Janice. Janice said, in my opinion, she's an accessory to murder. Yep, stack those charges on. From what we heard from the first news clip, they expect more charges. Erica said, I just got on and new to this case. What the actual F? It's maddening. Good morning, Glenn. Good morning, Glenn. was one of the worst cases of child abuse they've ever seen and said her injuries could also be from sexual assault. Another vigil will be held for Elena tomorrow night at 8.30 at the City Hall parking lot in Middlesbrough. Horrible. Now, not that I'm a governor, a senator, president. Hell, I wouldn't even qualify to be the dog catcher of Oatmogee County. But this is how I would handle it, okay? If I was in some sort of position of authority. For one, I like what they're doing in Florida. They're saying these people can't be rehabilitated. So if you violate a child, you're going to die. We're going to put you to death. You cannot ever go out. You can't be trusted in society ever again. So I like that. Instead of giving things to a social worker, I think all abuse needs to be called into the police and the police should immediately investigate, pay them more. I know we have an issue with police right now. And from there, after they've sorted out, then assign a social worker. This is what we found. This is what we know. Falls in your court. Not bass awkward like some states are doing it. Call CPS, make a report. If it meets the criteria, they'll get a hold of a law enforcement officer. No. These are our most precious citizens. They can't wait three business days for a paper pusher to decide. No. All right. Today. Today, Erica has a hearing. She has a hearing today. It's a prelim. And I'm anxious because I'm really following this as to when there's going to be more charges on her. Because if they look at some other cases in Kentucky, one would be Serenity McKinney. The attorney general hopped on that, and they charged the mother with first-degree murder. We're going to talk about that in a second. 
New details tonight, a Middlesbrough, Kentucky mom being held on $1 million bond as she faces charges in the death of her 17-month-old daughter. Police say Erica Lawson has a preliminary hearing now set for this coming Tuesday. You know, I've been telling you about the toddler's death. She was taken to East Tennessee Children's Hospital a week ago and died two days later. The Commonwealth Attorney's Office saying the girl showed signs of physical and sexual abuse. Police say they've gathered DNA samples from some of the subjects they have questioned. Oh, my God. Tamara, thank you for the Crime Lines and Lies gift memberships. So from the men that they have questioned, they've taken DNA samples from multiple men. How many men did she allow around her 17-month-old baby? How many? Hello, Jimmy Hoffa. How many men did she allow around her 17-month-old baby? This is nauseating. The Commonwealth Attorney's Office saying the girl showed signs of physical and sexual abuse. Police say they've gathered DNA samples from some of the subjects they have questioned. Those samples have been sent off for testing. Of course, we'll keep following this case as it moves into the courtroom. All right, and I will post a video when it comes out about what happened in court. It is sick, sick, sick. Just me said using the baby as currency. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah. It's exactly what it looks like. It's exactly what it looks like. I'm not saying that's what happened, but that's what it looks like. And, and I want to know what kind of what, what she was on that would make her <laughs> even think on in, in any universe this would make sense. Animals are more protective of their children than these women that we come across anymore. Now, not you guys, of course. You stand for what's right. Here's another case out of Kentucky. Little Serenity McKinney, her mom and the new pogo stick, when people started asking, where's Serenity? Where's Serenity? They took off, got caught in Kansas. I had the family on the channel. It was very hard to do. because they, they were broken. I mean, every, every avenue they went down became a dead end for them. They were even told, look, grandparents don't have rights. Well, for you to file for an emergency order, there has to be something wrong. We, we, there's nothing wrong. So she's on the mother in the case of Serenity is only going to serve a fraction of the time. Listen to this. A mother pleaded guilty to lesser charges today in the death of her four-year-old daughter. WDRB's Amanda Roberts was in the court for the emotional case. Amanda? Catherine McKinney, she tearfully pleaded guilty here to manslaughter, abuse of a corpse, and tampering with evidence. Now, in exchange... Oh, boo-hoo. She, tearful she tearfully pleaded guilty to lesser charges after her daughter was murdered by her boyfriend. Just like this one. Look at Erica Lawson. Uh, uh, poor me. Poor me. I'm on drugs. My boyfriend's mean to me. Shut up. Shut up. 
Kepner, abuse of a corpse and tampering with evidence. Now, in exchange for those lesser charges, attorneys told the judge they had secured a video statement from McKinney about what happened to her daughter, Serenity. In the following clip, McKinney's attorney refers to her as Abby and explains some of that testimony. Dakota Hill killed Serenity McKinney. However, Judge, um, even though they were both repeatedly and horrifically abused by... Here we go. Even though they were both horrifically accused, not accused, abused by him, she still didn't protect her child. First degree. She does not need to be out in society. Serenity's mom's a young woman. When she gets out in 10 years, guess what? She can get knocked up again. She can get pregnant again. Because as you know, my thoughts on this are, well, you know, you get one chance. And if you mess up that child, you don't get to have another one. Not just you, but the dude that failed to protect his child. Stop it. Stop it. Judge, um, even though they were both repeatedly and horrifically abused by Dakota Hill, um, Abby was in a situation where her daughter was being abused and she did not stop it, Judge. She knowingly permitted this to happen um, and that led to her daughter's death. Now, last she did not stop it, and it led to her daughter's death. So 12 years for manslaughter. But because she gave them a statement about what he did, they reduced it. And we have seen that in way too many cases where they do that. Excuse me, I had to mute myself to sneeze. You would think there wouldn't be any allergies in the air with all this rain we've had. Happened, um, and that led to her daughter's death. Now, last to her daughter's death. Yeah, I'm trying to pause it on her. Death. Look at that. Look at that. I'm just surprised she doesn't have on a damn COVID mask. You know, every time these women go into court, like um, Step Meth in Harmony Montgomery or Leilani Simon or Evelyn Boswell's mother, Megan, they wear that rag on their face like that's going to help. You're not going to get COVID. COVID's scared of you. You nasty, nasty bitches. Now, last year, Serenity's grandmother reported her missing when they hadn't seen her for a year. In February of 2022, detectives found Serenity's body in a suitcase in a wooded area. Thank you, Letitia. Thank you, Letitia Stout. As you know, Letitia put her stepson, Gannon, in a suitcase and threw him under a bridge in Florida after leaving from Colorado. And they find little Serenity in a suitcase out in the woods her for a year. In February of 2022, detectives found Serenity's body in a suitcase in a wooded area near the Jefferson Bullet County line. Commonwealth Attorney Bailey Taylor told reporters that they amended murder to manslaughter for a couple of reasons. The charge still fits the crime and it would secure McKinney's testimony in the case against Dakota Hill. Sound familiar? And I have a feeling that's what's going to happen with Erica Lawson. They are going to need her testimony. That's why I say, please, please, the powers that be in Kentucky, charge her high. Charge her high because they're going to have to have her testimony. They're going to have to have her testimony.
time, and it would secure McKinney's testimony in the case against Dakota Hill. Serenity's family says that it was an emotional day. McKinney sat in an orange jumpsuit in court and pleaded guilty through tears, tears that Serenity's grandmother says she understands and even has some empathy for. She says, now, good on you, Grandma. Good on you, Grandma. But I tell you what, if I was in that courtroom and I had to watch her sitting there in tears, in tears, you would have needed extra bailiffs to keep my hands from getting around her neck accidentally, of course. Right? Right? Running Buck said, Megan Boswell trial starts in 2025. WTF. Yeah, because she fired her attorney. So her new attorney has to have time to prepare. He hasn't been on the case since 2020, like the other one. Where Summer said, I would not trust myself in a courtroom with these monsters that hurt and killed their kids. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Like I said, you would have to have extra security. You'd have to have extra security because somehow something would happen to Miss Orange Jumpsuit that can't control her crying. And put her daughter in a suitcase and threw her in the woods. But Serenity's grandmother says she understands and even has some empathy for. She says with this guilty plea, she does believe that McKinney was physically abused by her boyfriend, Dakota Hill, that ultimately cost her her granddaughter's life. Maybe she couldn't stop him and she wanted to. I don't know, but that's, that's where what we're hoping. That's what I'm thinking. Because I knew Abby before Dakota. And Abby was a very, very sweet girl. She really was. Now, McKinney's attorney has not responded to requests for interview. McKinney's sentencing is... <sighs> and I have a feeling Erica Lawson is going to have the same sentiment about her daughter. I really do just from what I'm already seeing online. I just, God didn't give me that good of a heart, okay? I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't be that forgiving. Scheduled for later this month. Attorneys, though, they could not comment on the case against Dakota Hill. His next court date is scheduled for June. Reporting live in Bullitt County, I'm Amanda Roberts for WDRB News. Ooh. She said, nasty, nasty bitches. I felt that in my soul. I know. I run out of adjectives with these women. I truly do. Pink Kelly said, thank you for the membership. It has been raining in here. Thank you, Tarnia, Tamara, Snazzy. It's raining. What's up, Trev? Where Summer 800 TBI Fine said, if my child mistreated my grandkids, that's the day I stop being their mother and become their enemy. And that's a fact. You can still love them. You can still love them. But you can love them while they're in ba behind bars. There's always light at the end of the tunnel, though, and I do not advocate for violence. You know, be nice, be nice, just be as kind to people as you can. You know, we see a lot of ugliness, especially on the Internet. Every now and then we see uh, someone who's not getting their way when they're trying to exchange a shirt that, you know, they wore for 10 days straight. No, it just doesn't fit right. You know, we, we see these people like this. So I'm not advocating for this. I'm just saying that sometimes there is um, such a thing as prison justice. And in Oregon, on June 19th, 2023, a man who killed his girlfriend's three-year-old daughter died in prison custody. Now, cue ball there didn't exactly have a heart attack. An inmate guilty of killing his girlfriend's daughter was found dead at the Oregon Department of Corrections. David Jean Elliott Jr., I feel bad for his daddy that has to walk around with the name David Jean Elliott Sr., 
has been identified as the deceased, according to the DOC. He was incarcerated at Two Rivers Correctional Institution and died at the facility. He was 36 years old. He entered their custody in 2016. His next of kin has been notified. Well, I wouldn't look for a lot of people at that funeral. KOTU previously covered Elliot's court case where he was convicted of murdering his girlfriend's three-year-old daughter and hurting her other five-year-old child. According to court records, the girl was found face down in the tub. She had been vomiting for three days after Elliot struck her in the abdomen. The medical examiner ruled her death a homicide, saying she died of cerebral, cerebral anoxia due to near drowning, but after blunt force abdominal trauma. Now, this is a case where the mother should have been in jail as well. Her daughter had been vomiting for days after being struck in the abdomen by this ape and did nothing about it, put her in the tub. As with all in custody deaths, the Oregon State Police have been notified. The DOC states that all in custody death, they take all in custody deaths seriously and that while crime information is public record, the DOC elects to disclose only upon request out of respect for any family or victims. So basically a prisoner got a hold of him and they're just going to leave well enough alone. Thank you, September Virgo. Much love and respect to you. So um, get ready. When these DNA samples get through the lab and they find out who these men are and they go to the big house, the other prisoners are going to know what they did. They're going to know that they violated a 17-month-old baby. 17 months. Look at her. Disgusting. Check out that Facebook group. They're super nice in there. As promised, I said I'm not going to keep you guys too long because this case is a lot to take. It is grim. It is dark. It is depraved. And it's hard to even think about. I know several people were like, I got to get out of here. I can't even think about this. She is a beautiful little angel that deserved way better than the mother. The egg donor that was dealt to her. It's disgusting. I'm going to be dropping a video later this afternoon. We have a show tomorrow about Harmony Montgomery. I about fell out of my chair yesterday when Teardrop addressed the court about how he feels about Harmony. Um, just me should probably be on panel with me tomorrow unless she has grocery shopping to do. So make sure you have your remind all on. Stay subscribed. Stay cool. Mama She, you're the best. Mama, she said, thank you for covering this case. Well, all the cases, you're the best. You're the best. You're the best. You guys are here. You guys support the channel. Without you guys, there would be no channel. There'd be no channel without you guys. None. That's why I say it every day, and I mean it every day. You are the best chat and best community on YouTube. I will see you back here tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Watch for that video to drop and come say hi to me on Facebook or Discord. See ya later.